Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kevin back at it again. So starting off this car. So the major mod that I'm going to be talking about is going to be a strut tower bar or a strut bar, strut brace, whatever you want to call it. Personally, in my opinion, this car needs one. You can feel the entire weight of the car move when you take turns. Personally, I didn't like, I don't like this. Um, kind of scares me and I don't like feeling the entire body move, the entire car move and it's throwing me around as well. So one way to get rid of that is to throw on a strut tower bar brace. A strut tower bar brace, it balances the weight of the car leaving out the excess body roll and you wouldn't feel you wouldn't feel the excess body roll when you're moving so this is a good mod to implement into your build if you guys are if you guys love driving or if you guys just drive the car every day this mod is a improvement i recently had a megan racing strut tower bar brace on my first one that one was not too bad it was cheap though like on the cheaper side so more affordable for you guys i believe you can get both the front and the rear for a decent price i'll leave the links in the description box below if you guys want that i personally do not have megan racing anymore i bought a different brand i bought Cusco. it is a well-known brand in japan which is why i bought it another reason why i bought it is because it's blue and it matches the color of my car so i thought i'd stick with the whole blue theme yeah guys so that's the reason why i bought that and personally i do a lot of spirited driving i can feel the weight of the car move when i take turns and i and i wanted to get rid of that this mod is to improve handling for the car it is a must mod when buying this car unless you guys like feeling the body weight of the car move along with you guys what Bro, what are you talking about, man? And I got a Cusco strut tower bar brace because nobody has done one yet that I've seen. So I wanted to put this video out there to guess, give out my review on the strut tower bar brace. And so far, personally, I'm sorry I didn't get any video clips of me installing it. It's, it's a pretty simple mod to do. I believe you will need a 17 millimeter and I believe a 14 millimeter bolt or a 14 millimeter. So you can take off the strut bolts. Once you remove that, it should be six of them. I'll show you guys outside. It's six bolts that you guys need to remove and put back on. And if you guys are wondering the torque specs for the strut tower bar brace, it is going to be 49 foot pounds of torque. If you guys want to torque it down, torque it back to spec. Those are the specs that I found when researching about this car and the strut tower bolts. Let me know what mods you guys want to see next. I do have a couple things coming in soon as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for supporting. It means a lot. I want to hopefully hit 1,000 subscribers soon by the end of this year, hopefully. But I recently picked up a rear windshield visor I've picked up a rear windshield visor up in the back i will show you guys how that looks right now personally i think it's just a subtle look i didn't paint it or anything it came unpainted but it came in like a black color give me one second guys there's uh, security give me one second before i get in trouble i want to say rear windshield visor Honestly, I'm not even too sure what this is called, but I picked this up for about $40, 30 bucks. I wanna say it adds to the car, makes it kind of leveled out. I like it. I think it's something that makes make the car look a little bit aggressive. All right, guys. So as I was saying, this is the Cusco Strut Tower Bar Brace. As you guys can tell, made in Japan, Cusco. It is blue, matches my paint whole lot of Japanese uh, I don't even know let's see as I was saying it's going to be one two and three bolts one two three uh, you guys will have to remove those six bolts slap this on put those bolts right back on 49 foot-pounds of torque 
and this bar will not come the way it's sitting it'll come just flat apart like this so you guys will need or eight hex i don't remember this i believe is a 17 millimeter and this is a 14 millimeter bolt so you just stick that hex into here socket on one side and then with one hand or two hands while you're holding this one just break one of them and they should be able to move again and then just set it into place where you guys want it and then just install it yeah guys let me know what you guys think As I was saying guys, so my car comes equipped with the F-Sport air intake that's legal in 50 states. And yeah, so I can't get in trouble for this, even though it looks basically stock. The only difference about this is it comes with a, I wanna say aluminum or a metal piping instead of the plastic ones. You hear a lot of um, engine noise with this intake on. I would definitely recommend this this intake over any hot air intakes like your engine like the last one that i ran was engine i would not recommend that or any of the other ones this is your best route or if you get the rr racing carbon intake this would replace that but in my opinion i just want to stick to oem i like oem's parts i'm trying to make this car a oem plus build But anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed i will try to bust out more videos for you guys if you guys have any ideas drop them down in the comments i do look at the comments here and there when i have time drop a comment and let me know what you guys want to see next i will try to get some pov driving footage of of this car and yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all the support it means a lot to me road to 1k subscribers soon i want to say hopefully by the end of this year Hopefully we can hit that goal. I will pump out more videos. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace, guys. Stay safe out there as well.